Hey friends, it's Ashley and today I'm here with a new project for the Coco Daisy creative team. I recently joined their design team after participating in their memory planner step-by-step -step class and today I am creating an off-the-page proje project using the May afternoon tea scrapbooking kit and also the memory keeping sticker kit for May. So I'm starting with two of the pattern papers here and I'm gonna cut the first one at two inches by six inches because I will be using this in my Heidi Swap memory planner and the days of the week are two inches by six inches. The second piece of paper I'm gonna cut two and a quarter by six and a half. And I'm gonna use both of these pieces to create a little pocket to put some journaling and photos in. Now that I have the pieces cut, I'm going to use my scoreboard and I'm gonna score the first paper at two inches and four inches. And this is just gonna give me the little sections that I'm gonna use. And my backing piece, I'm going to score around three sides at a quarter inch, um, just so I can fold those sides in to help me create the pocket. And because I'm going to punch some little holes um, on the front piece, front piece of paper. Um, I wanted a pattern to show through so that's why I'm using the front side of the little plus paper um, because it will show through the little half holes that I'm going to punch in just a minute on the pink paper. So I'm going to use my bone folder just to make sure that those seams are really nice and flat um, when they fold and then I'm going to cut these corners off to create a flatter pocket so it won't be so bulky um, in my memory planner. And so I'm just gonna kind of um, push those down a little bit more. And now you can see how this piece is gonna lay over the back piece. And before I do that, I want to punch the holes with one of my hole punches. I think this one is my three quarter punch. Um, and I'm gonna do two of these right here, just on these um, outside little um, compartments. And that's just kind of to show that there's something in there that's gonna pull up um, once I get that all together. And also another step before I put this together, um, I thought it would be fun on the center little area to create a clear pocket. So it's gonna show through whatever you put in this. I'm gonna put journaling, a little journaling card in the center so you will be able to see through to that. So this that I'm cutting right now is just gonna be my guide to kind of um, cut that little square on the front here. So I got that size to what I wanted and I'm gonna use my pencil to trace around that edge just so I have that shape there and I know where I'm cutting. And once I get that traced, I'm gonna take my craft knife and just put this back on my, um, on my cutter. And then I'm gonna cut around um, those lines that I drew and I'm just gonna use my ruler as a straight edge to do that. Um, you could do this with scissors if you wanted to cut out that middle part and then cut along the edges, but I figured I could probably get a straighter edge using my craft knife. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of those pieces out. And you definitely wanna do this first before you put it together because you will not be able to cut through the top sheet without cutting through the back sheet once you put your pocket together. So this is definitely a step that you need to do before you adhere everything together. And make sure that you're just cutting all the way through your paper. I did have to go back a couple of times and um, make a few more swipes. And sometimes when you are doing this with a ruler, it's hard to tell if you're getting to those corners. So I did take my scissors and trim that um, just to make sure that that corner popped out. And if you are um, able to, you could also use your trimmer to do this. I was afraid I might cut past the lines. So I figured that using my craft knife um, would make it a lot easier and easier to control the cuts. So now that I have that cut out, I'm going to take some transparency sheet and I'm going to cut a little piece to go behind that. And you could also do this with vellum if you don't have um, any transparency sheets. I just order my transparencies from Amazon. So I usually have a lot of them on hand for anything like this. So I'm just going to place it behind that little center square and just roughly trim it trim out um, the transparency sheet there. And once I get that done, I'm going to use some glossy accents to go ahead and put around the square area so I can get that transparency adhered. And you could use a different kind of adhesive if you want to. Um, I just think that the glossy accents hold something like that really well. Um, and it's good for just the little window to get that small area um, around there. And so now you can see that it's gonna give you that little see-through area in the center. 
So now that I've got all of that done, I can go ahead and put the two pieces together. So I'm just going to add adhesive to those quarter inch little flaps that I did um, with my um, scoreboard. And then I can glue the two pieces together. And that's going to leave the center parts open to slide in photos or ephemera, um, like I said, journaling or anything like that. But I do want to make sure that those are pockets. So I do take it off camera for just a minute and I stitch down those score marks that I made at the two inch and four inch mark um, so I can have those little separated pockets. So now I actually have three pockets um, that I can put things in. And I am going to use one of the journaling cards from the kit to create an, a, well, actually a smaller journaling card <laughs> that, I, that will fit um, inside my center pocket here. So you can just see how that slides in. And I wanted to use this other um, card with the green pattern um, and the little arrows to create a pull tab. So I just cut that at about an inch um, and half an inch. And then I'm going to fold it over. And when I get it folded over, um, I am going to take a hole puncher or one of my circle punches actually. Um, and I'm just going to like bite out at the corners there um, to create that little file folder tab look. And that's always a fun trick um, with any of your pattern papers or journaling cards um, just to kind of make your own little pull tab there. And I'm just going to use my tiny attacher to get that on there. And now you can see that I can just slip that in and out of the pocket right there. And it can go in any of those sides where you want it to. And when I do this in my planner, um, I actually put photos in the two ends. And in the center, I do journaling. And I actually print my journaling on um, transparent sticker paper, vellum sticker paper. Um, so you can just put that right over the little journaling card that you made. And I did want to embellishment, uh, embellish it a little bit, um, even though at this time I didn't know exactly what I was going to use it for. Um, I knew I could take some like kind of generic embellishments from the afternoon tea kit um, and kind of put on there um, just some stickers and some of the chipboard pieces, um, some of the ephemera pieces, and just kind of decorate it a little bit before it goes in to my memory planner. So I'm just using a few of those pieces. I liked the little um, chipboard hexagon right there in the center of the um, transparent little window. I thought that was cute. And you will still be able to see my journaling behind that later on. And then just kind of um, creating some clusters on those edges on both sides of the other pockets with some of the stickers, um, some of the puffy stickers, just kind of a mix of things that I can put on there to decorate the outside part of it. And just kind of going through the die cuts again to see what else I can finish that off with. And I kind of did opposite clusters. Um, on the left hand side, I did one at the top and then on the right hand side, I did one at the bottom um, just to kind of balance that out there. And just looking to see what else I want to add. I wanted to bring in another puffy sticker. So I grabbed another one of those hearts to go right there. And you can see how that will fit right into my planner. It fits perfectly on any of those days of the week that you want to add it to. I hope you enjoyed watching today. And if this is your first time to visit my channel, I would love for you to become a new subscriber. I will leave links to everything in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.